The purpose of this lesson is to demonstrate check boxes and radio buttons. The servlet that generates the HTML is basically the same as those in the previous examples. Here is the HTML. These are the check boxes at the top. With check boxes, you can select one of them, or none of them, or all of them. If you'll notice on these, I gave them a name that is the same as the label that defines them. That makes them easier to identify later. These four at the bottom are a little different. You set them up about the same, but they work a little differently. Inside a form, only one of these can be selected at a time. All of these are given the same names, but there are different values for each one. Here's how they work. You can select and non-select these at random. And you can have as many as you want selected at the same time. That's not the case with the radio buttons. All of these that are inside the same form will unselect one as you select another. At any one time, you select one, and all the previous ones will become deselected. And there is one Submit button. Here you see that the selected buttons are reported. Your program can now read through the list and sort out what action or actions need to be taken. You can see that only the ones that were selected are passed to you. If you have a page with only checkboxes, you may want to include one of those hidden fields in case none of the selections are made when it's submitted to you. That could be the only way that you would know what happened. I'm showing you some very plain web pages. There's nothing to stop you from adding decoration instructions to the pages that are produced by the servlets. You can use colors, images, and don't forget style sheets that can be used to standardize onto fancier text.